Yeah, if you're looking to find happiness where you ain't gotta look no more, check the YouTube channel, look for Buddy the Borador. Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Buddy the Borador, the show where we bring you canine content on dog treats, toys and training tips. Today we're going to be having a look at the Borador's grooming needs. Oh la la. Now, Borador's may be high maintenance when it comes to exercise. But luckily for us Borodo owners, these dogs are actually very low maintenance when it comes to grooming. But he sheds low to medium amounts of hair, so luckily for us Borodo owners, it's not going to be a massive job hoovering up all over the house. Unless of course he shreds his toys everywhere, which he does all of the time. Do you want to follow on? Regular brushing for any Borodo is a fantastic way to keep their coat in tip top shape and I would recommend if you do it at least twice per week and that's going to make sure that it stays in really good condition. A great tip for this is to use a brush, like I'm doing in this shot here. So if you want one of them, um, I think the one I used I got off Amazon, I'll put a link to it in the description if you want to buy that one, they're pretty cheap. It's a great recommendation. Good boy. Now thankfully, Borodos do not have that horrific dog smell. Unless of course he's farting, in which it stinks. Oh, you're drooling all over us, man. Now the big question is, how often should you wash your Borodo? Now luckily with Borodos, you actually don't need to bath them that much and I would probably only bath them if they get really dirty or if they roll in something terribly unpleasant. I've showed that clip in loads of videos, but it's absolutely horrific and I hate it when he does it. So uh, I'm sure you've all been there yourselves. Now, as I've stated beforehand, you need to make sure that you're using a dog shampoo if you are going to be bathing your dog. I've got my Buddy Bubbles one, which I'm going to be sending some samples out very soon. Are you just walking off? Right, no problem mate, see you later. Um, so if you want to be in for a chance of actually having one of these, they're free, uh, pop a comment down below and I'll get back to you. Alternatively, as I've mentioned beforehand, message me on Instagram. Buddy Bubbles underscore. Other key grooming needs are teeth, ears, and nails. Dogs ideally need to have their teeth cleaned once per day, so you can use this with like a dandy stick or something like that. Or if you want, there are actually dog toothpaste and stuff out there, but you will not catch me doing that with him. Ears also need to be checked once per week and wiped down with a damp cloth. And um, you can actually get wet wipes as well, I've seen online. Um, if you're a little bit worried about some excessive wax buildup. Again, if you're a little bit concerned about anything like that, do check with your vet because I've had dogs in the past that have had a lot of problems with wax in their ears and it can be very, very bad. Very bad in the sense that it stinks and it's not very pleasant for them. So if you have any problems with ear wax in your Borodo or dog, get it checked out as soon as you can with your vet. Are you coming up? Come on then. Get it. Hey, it's coming back up. Joining us today is Buddy the Borodo. Oh, buddy man. Oh, me bottles. You are just terrible to work with. Well, he's done off again, so I'm going to have to continue the video on my own. Thanks, mate. Like I said before, Borodos may be prone to ear infections, so make sure you dry them when they get wet. Examples of the ears getting wet include if it rains when you've taken them out for a walk, after they go for a swim swim, or of course after a bath. Last but not least, we've got nail clippings, so you can actually leave these to a professional groomer if you want to, um, or if you're feeling lucky, well, not lucky, but if you want to do it yourself and you've had experience of doing it, there are obviously nail clippers online. Again, double check with your vet or even your local dog groomer if you're a little unsure and you don't want to do it yourself. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, unfortunately, Buddy has done a runner, so it's just me at the end of this episode today. But question of the day is, what sort of dog grooming products do you use? Do you take your dog to a groomer's or do you stick them in the bath and plunge them in? Best answer in the comment section below will win a Buddy Bubbles sample grooming kit. So I've got some little 30 milliliter bottles of the dog shampoo, conditioner, and doggy deodorant, which I'm going to send to the winner of the best answer. Good luck, and I'll see you on the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, and oh, couldn't really think of anything to end on there, so I thought I'd just do a weird sound, but uh, cheers for watching. See you later. Yeah, if you're looking to find happiness where well, you ain't gotta look no more, check the YouTube channel, look for Buddy the Borador. Dog training tips I know you can use, uh -huh. even sell dog toys and product reviews. Uh, yeah. Welcome to the channel where you know we keep it live. Buddy's here to make you smile, you just gotta subscribe for all your dog needs and they never skip a beat. Consider this a treat, this is really all you need. Hey, Buddy the Borador, uh, come on, Buddy the Borador. Yeah.